Hi, I'm Jonathan Pickup. I've been teaching Vectorworks for over 30 years, and today I wanted to look at how you're going to put dimensions onto a plan. I've got a philosophy that I use. It's worked really well for many, many years, and I was taught this by someone who I really respect. So I'm going to show you the strategy, and it starts by putting the main dimension, the overall dimension, on as far outside as you can. Then we do the steps in the plan. Then we do the rooms. Then we do the doors and windows. Now this works on big projects as well as small projects, but it is a very ordered way. It looks very neat and tidy when you're finished. And I'll show you how to make sure that you get all your information correctly. So let's get started. This is a viewport. Now I've already turned off all of my classes that relate to the finishes. So I've only got my core walls. And that's why the windows stick out. So let's go and right click, edit annotations, and I'm going to start by doing an overall plan. Now I've got master snaps turned on, which should make it really quick for me to do this. So this is single dimensioning or a constrained linear mode. It's what I might call a single dimension. So starting on the outside there, you can see I missed it slightly from outside to outside. So I'm going to place that dimension up here. And the next one I'm going to create is a chain dimension. So starting at that point to that point there. So now there's a step in the slab. So let's place the first one. And the step goes out to here. So double click to stop that. Now if we have a look, you can see I've already snapped to the center of the wall. I didn't like that. Let's just move that out to there. Now when you do that, it does update the dimension for you. Now the next one, the rooms. So back to my dimension tool. And I'm using the chain dimension again. So I'm going to start outside here, come inside. Don't forget if you need to use the snap loop to zoom in. And this is placing the first dimension there. And that each dimension after that is going to be placed in the same line. And double click to finish. Now the thing I like about this is that you can grab hold of that dimension. And when you bring that dimension line down or move it up, all the dimensions are moving together. So it's really quick. So we've got seven and a half inch block work. And now I'm going to do my doors and windows. So back to my dimension tool. I'm still using chain dimensioning. I'm going to start outside here. In fact, I don't have to start outside because I've already got that dimension. I could start inside. Let's go to the edge of my window. And then I'm just going to place that. So there. And then zoom in. Now I'm going to click there. I should really click at that point and at that point, click there and click there and double click there. So that should have finished off my dimensions. Now you'll notice just inside here, it's very messy because I've got such small numbers here. This one here and then there's another one there. Now what you could do if you wanted to, there are some dimensions that you don't need. Now, if you've got an internal room like this one here, this, this one's further away, back to our dimension tool, back to a single dimension. So I'm going to start from here, click there. I want to make sure I snap to that point there. And come up and place that dimension. And there we are. So that's the strategy that I use. And I've used it on lots of projects over the years. And it's a really nice and easy to understand method for placing all of your dimensions. They look very clean and tidy, and they're easy for the contractor to follow. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that.